coming up in this Brightline Construction Update. This update looks the cutover of the new CP City Point. CP City Point is located in Cocoa, Florida, southwest of the interchange of State Road 528 and US 1. We'll start the afternoon before the cutover with a preview of the site before the work begins. As part of this cutover, the new mainline trap we put into service, the old mainline will become the new lead track for Semex's City Point plant, and the old lead will be demolished, and new signals will be activated. The ties on the left here are for the future main line to Orlando. The Coco Tunnel is on the left. Now a day later, on day one of the cutover, and the new main line in this area has been put into service. Part of the old main line was also removed so a new signal for northbound trains could be installed. The new signaling system for this control point was also in the process of being activated and tested. This included the activation of the new cantilever signal. The old lead track to the Semex City Point plant will be completely removed with the old main line becoming the new lead. Crews are making preparations to make this change the following day. For this night, the plant will be cut off from service, which is acceptable as the unit train does not run Saturday nights. On these trailers are the old signals, battery boxes, and bungalows. The cutover work for the new signals was being coordinated out of this blue van next to the primary bungalow that controls City Point. Here's a ballast regulator completing the finishing touches on the new main line before the first train passes in a few hours. Here, closer to State Road 528, is where the new main line connected back into the old one. A tamper is working in this new alignment. Here's another run of the ballast regulator. Here, crews are removing a section of the rail from the old main line.
Now on day two of the cutover, and the old turnout connecting to the City Point lead have been inserted into the new main line. Rain unfortunately kept me from catching it being installed. The turnout was in good enough condition to be reused. Down by Michigan Avenue, a flashbutt welding truck was working to weld together pieces of rail on the future mainline track to Orlando. The old main line had been aligned to connect to the relocated turnout. The old lead had been pulled off to the side to start being disassembled. Farther north, crews were in the process of realigning the old main line to connect to the existing Semex lead. They are lining up one of the rails here. A tamper was working on the lead here. Crews were working on replacing some broken ties and inserting some new ties under the joint between the old main line and the lead.
Here's a flight south past the site. This derail would be relocated into the new lead track on day 3 of the cutover. They were preparing it for the move here. The derail prevents the unit train from accidentally fouling the main line if it moves too far forward while it is being unloaded. And finally on day 3 of the cutover, the derail was installed into the lead. This was the last of the track work to be completed here. They were in the process of finishing the ballasting of it here. And here's one final look at the area with the new changes in place. In my next video, I'll look at the progress on the future mainline to Orlando that has happened here since the cutover, as well as look at Coco Junction. Thanks for watching! Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.